you know, the promise of democracy is that every vote counts. Uh, and that has been the promise of democracy since 1787. And it's still the promise of democracy. And I intend here in Pennsylvania to make sure we keep that promise. The counties continue to report results. And again, these results are coming in more slowly than they have in the past. So we have to be patient, uh, but confident that these votes are going to be counted. They're going to be counted accurately, uh, and they will be counted fully. Um, the delay that we're seeing is a sign that the system is working. This is a new system. We went into effect with Act 77 last year, uh, and there are three million uh, millions uh, of uh, uh, mail-in ballots uh, that are being counted. And that takes longer than the, the, uh, the, the way we used to do it with the stand in in-person voting. So we may not know the results even today, but the most important thing is that we have accurate results. Again, even if that takes a little longer than we're used to. Make no mistake, our democracy is being tested in this election. This is a stress test of the ideals upon which this country was founded. And the basic rule of one person, one vote, that still carries, and it has to carry here. Our democracy has withstood challenges before, and for over 200 years we have upheld and strengthened our commitment to basic fairness and due process. And I have full faith that we will similarly meet this moment, and I will do everything within my power to ensure that the results are fair and that every vote is counted. Pennsylvania will have a fair election, and that election will be free of outside influences. I will vigorously, and we all will vigorously defend against any attempt to attack that vote in Pennsylvania. And every Pennsylvania, every Pennsylvanian can have confidence in the outcome of this election due to the diligence of the county election officials and the hard work of Secretary Bookvar uh, and her folks at the Pennsylvania Department of State. We are exactly where we said we would be. So we said it was going to take some time to count the mail ballots. Um, and we are, we are approaching 50 percent of the mail ballots counted, uh, which is great. As you know, you can go to our uh, Election Night Returns website and the supplemental dashboard to get the greater details on that. Uh, but there are still millions of ballots left to be counted. So the counties are working incredibly hard. You're going to see a lot of updates in the next couple of hours and throughout the day. We have been, you know, a, a lot, there were a number of counties that made some major additions in the wee hours in the morning. So if you checked kind of early on this morning, you may want to check again because there's already been uh, more ballots accounted for on our dashboard. Um, and again, I'll also just remind everyone, military and overseas ballots are not due until a week after Election Day. So next Tuesday is the deadline for military and overseas voters to cast their ballots. And we want to make sure that not only every civilian absentee mail and valid voter is counted, but also that every man and woman who are serving our country, that their votes are counted.